something great in store for y'all. We'll get ready, set, and take off. The second annual Rose City Air Fest is tomorrow, and if you plan on going, you won't be disappointed. You will get to experience high-flying fun, get an up-close and personal look at vintage warplanes and lots more, all while benefiting a great cause, and we love that. So this morning, we have Staff Sergeant Jacob Stevens and Master Staff Sergeant Brian Sandoval from the D-10 demo team. They're here live in studio, as you can see, this morning. And first of all, thank you so much for being here this morning. Yeah, absolutely. Of Thanks course, for having course us. We're glad to be here. Yeah, so we all know that this Air Fest is a huge deal, but you two, do you all travel throughout the country at different um, shows? Yeah, absolutely. So our job as the A-10 demonstration team is to go around the country and recruit, retain, and inspire of the next generation of the Air Force by showing mm -hmm. off our airplane and some of the combat capabilities that it has, as well as the professionalism of the men and women of the team and the Air Force and kind of what we do to contribute to the mission. So our team is 11 people, uh, one oh, pilot, wow. nine maintenance, and then myself as public affairs. Uh, and we go around to 20 to 25 shows a year. Uh, just showing off the capabilities of the airplane uh, just all over the country to whoever comes out to see it. Awesome. And can you tell me a little bit about, like, what you guys will be doing at this particular event this weekend? Yeah, so uh, we're going to have a whole air demonstration for you. Uh, it pretty much shows off the combat capability, what the aircraft can do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit more sportier. sporty. Sp Sportier year. Yeah. Than, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's early morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> yeah, sportier than uh, what the A-10s are uh, actually in that actual fleet. So uh, it's a little bit faster, a little bit tighter. Um, yeah, and we're excited to put on a good show for y'all. Awesome. So, do you guys work a lot with the vintage planes? So one very unique thing that we're able to do, mm -hmm. um, one of the vintage aircraft that's going to be out at the show is the P-51 Mustang, uh, oh. which is a World War II fighter um, that kind of did some of the roles that we do now as mm -hmm. the active duty A-10s. Um, so we're all active duty team uh, with aircraft that still fly in service today. Uh, so one of the things we'll do is called a heritage flight. Uh, and that's gonna be a formation flying of us with the P-51, wow. uh, which mm. is a very unique thing, something you pretty much never see, except when uh, our teams, the A-10 team, the F-16, F-22, and F-35 demonstration teams are at air shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's very unique. Uh, and that's going to be one of the things that you'll be able to see uh, this weekend if you come out to the show. Man, that awesome. sounds fun. There's a tease there. Right, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, um, so growing up, like what made y'all want to, you know, get into aircraft mm -hmm. and do what you do now? Yeah, so uh, actually I come from a, a predominantly uh, big military servant family. Um, I have cousins that were in the Marines, uh, served in Vietnam, um, and just being around all that uh, gave me a sense of purpose and duty to actually just serve my country. Um, and then kind of like a goofy plug here, uh, when I saw like Top Gun when I was a little kid, I was like, <laughs> I want to be around that. aircraft, right? right. Um, and so why not do it in the Air Force? Exactly. So that's been, nice. that's been mine. Yeah, and so for me, it's very similar. Uh, my grandfather was in Vietnam, uh, and he was one of my biggest inspirations growing up. So talking to him and then some family that I have in now, they convinced me to join the Air Force, uh, and it was kind of something I was led to do. And so once I did, uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I let the government pick my job for me. I <laughs> ended up working out. I've had a lot of great opportunities, and in a role as public affairs, it's not traditional to get to work directly with uh, aircraft maintenance uh, and the teams and kind of what they do. So this has been a very unique and very eye-opening opportunity as to kind of the hard work that these guys put in and the pilots and everybody else. Yeah. That's All right, awesome. very inspiring stories. Yeah. Now, the Rose City Air Fest, again, it's tomorrow at the Historic Aviation Memorial Museum at Tyler Pound Regional Airport. Gates open at 2 p.m. The air show starts at 6 p.m. And on behalf of the CBS 19 family, and I'm sure Chandler included, Thank you so much for your yes. service. Thank, Thank you, you for being here as Thank well. Thank you guys. Appreciate really appreciate you guys having us out. Yes. Absolutely. You know, 